Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over each of the places in After Effects that you can place your After Effects General Plugin or AEGP. There are a number of different menus that we can place our custom AEGP plugins in and we're going to be going over them one by one today. One thing I've learned in the process of making AGPs is that you cannot sort of create stacked or sub items within others, but through this process I've also learned every single menu that you can go through. So let's get started. Now the place that you'll be putting each of these different menus that your plugin goes within is inside the AEGP insert menu command section of your plugin. Inside of here you'll see something like AEGP underscore menu and then a keyword which we have this whole list here. And of course we can start with the one that says none. If we do this we then have a sort of invisible plugin. This can be a plugin that does stuff in the background constantly executes code when something is detected. For example, typically with AGPs, you can enable or disable a menu command given certain conditions. So you can also execute code in the background without displaying anything in your After Effects menu given some conditions. Now the next one is AEGP underscore menu underscore Apple. The Apple one will obviously only appear on your Mac and this will appear under the Apple icon, which it appears a little bit different in After Effects for Windows versus Mac, and this will then give you an option to put something in there. Now for the rest of them, since I do have Windows and not a Mac, I'm going to go ahead and run After Effects to show you exactly where each of these go. And the first one we're going to start with here is the File menu. And actually before I execute this in After Effects, I'm going to change my sorting to insert at bottom so that it way it's super easy to see. So I'll go ahead and grab the insert at bottom command and I'll compile and run this, and let's see where the menu file goes. As you might have guessed, it's quite simple, and it's going to appear under File, the very first menu in After Effects, and here we have the plugin that I'm working with and will be releasing at some point called Quick Link Footage. Next, we have the Edit menu, so it's going to be Menu underscore Edit. As with many of these, it's going to be relatively straightforward, and next to the File menu, we have Edits, and now we have our plugin Quick Link Footage. After edit, we have composition. And the composition menu is right next to the edit menu, and now you can see we have our plugin there. These first few are obviously going to be very tongue in cheek and the first few actual menus in After Effects. After composition, we then have the layer menu. So here at the bottom, we have quick link footage. And interestingly enough, even though we have it sorted to go to the bottom, this scene edit detection actually supersedes it and goes to the bottom, uh, even though we set it to the bottom. Next up, we have the effect menu, where here we actually go to the top because all of our actual effects and after effects need to be displayed at the bottom. So here it is relatively close to the top, but this is what it considers the bottom of the effects menu. And after the effect window, we have our last sort of obvious one, the window menu, which if we go to window and go down here, we can see our quick link footage plugin. Again, not quite at the bottom, there are other menus that kind of are more important to After Effects to place near the bottom, but that's where the bottom will appear. Now let's get into some of the more cool ones that maybe you're not too familiar with. One of the ones that I used to think was some kind of custom UI are the floaters. What could a floater mean in After Effects? I thought maybe this was like a custom floating window that we can put anywhere in the UI or some kind of menu that would allow us to do submenus, but actually all of these menu types are simple menus in After Effects, nothing complex. So the floaters actually appear in the window area and at the very bottom here, you can see we have it right here. And super strange, this is basically the same thing as the window. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why there's two separate ones. Maybe there's a, a slight difference I'm missing here, but the floaters here will appear with all of these other main After Effects windows like properties, smoother tools, and now quick link footage. After floaters, we have KF Assist. If you haven't guessed already, this stands for Keyframe Assistant. For Keyframe Assistant, we're going to need some actual uh, composition and layers. So we'll right click on a layer, and there we have Keyframe Assistant, and now we have our Quick Link Footage. So if you wanted to make a AEGP plugin that deals with keyframes, this is the perfect place to put it. After Keyframe Assistant, we have the Import menu, which is under File, Import, and here we have just above the solid and placeholder import processes, we have our custom AGP. And in this case, you could create your own custom import process or whatever you feel would go appropriately here. And on the other end of import, we have save frame as menu, which is under composition. 
save frame as, which we'll need to then create a comp for, save frame as, and here we have our quick link footage. A very interesting location if you're looking to sort of customize the preferences of After Effects is the prefs menu. So under edit, preferences, we can add our AEGP plugin to here. Next, we have the export menu, which if we go to file, export, now we can see our AGP in here. This is if you want to sort of export something in a custom way that's not just saving the individual frame, more of like a standard render, full render export. Next is a standard menu that should have been listed earlier in the list, but it's for some reason it's in this enumeration, is the animation menu. So you can do menu underscore animation, and here at the bottom of animation we have our quick link footage plugin. Second to last, we have the purge menu. So if we go to edit, purge, now we'll see our After Effects general plugin in this section. And just a quick idea for this, if you wanted to maybe, instead of purging memory, you could purge all unused layers, all effects in your whole uh, project, something like that. And lastly is AEGP underscore menu underscore new. Now new sounds like, hey, that's, that's something that's pretty new. And in fact, if you look at the definition of it, it says it's only available in AE 12.0 uh, and up. So to me, when I saw this, I thought this is the way that we create a menu and then a sub menu, we create some kind of new custom menu or maybe we can create a menu that doesn't yet exist in After Effects. But no, this reference is something very simple as in going to file, new, and there's our plugin. It's not creating a new menu or creating something special. It's just a new menu. So that's a full list of all the places you can put an After Effects general plugin or AEGP inside of After Effects and basically customize where your plugin appears and make sure that it fits in to the predefined locations uh, for the actual purpose of your plugin. I've done the research and seen if it's possible to do something like these sub menus, like in scripts, we have all these options. In Adobe Dynamic Link, we have these options. I tested it a fair bit, did form research, and it appears it's not supported. The only ones that are supported when we peek the definition of any of these menu items are the ones that I just went over. And hopefully in the future, if we request it or just wait patiently, they'll release more capabilities for After Effects general plugins. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on all the places that you can place your After Effects general plugins. We'll see you next time.